Um, Get a little bit of paint on your hand, by the way. I know. And on your face. Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another day at the Nords. Right now, Mike and I, it's after lunch and we're actually over at the shop. Um, because we have a shop, it's called Endorsey. It's in a local antiques mall. I know, you guys, I know I'm touching my mask. I'm sorry, I, I got I'm just doing the best I can. Um, he is building me a wall. It's gonna go up to about that window height so that I can hang my art on it. Because I do have this wall, which I appreciate, but I don't want to have to like put in new holes all the time. And so we're actually making this a pegboard wall so I can just make really cute displays anytime really, really easily just, you know, putting up hooks. So he built this half frame of the wall at home. Um, and then we brought it in the back of the van and then he's got the rest of the wood to frame it out outside. And then he'll bring it in and put that in and then we'll have to bring the pegboard back and attach it to that but pretty excited so things are going well at home um daniel's still doing his training missionary training center stuff at the house he does that you know six to eight hours a day and everybody else is just doing their thing uh, one of the nice things about the stay-at-home orders is that the kids have gotten like i guess it's not i mean we were already homeschooling but like it kind of just like made them realize that they just needed to figure out how to not be bored instead of hoping they could leave the house every day to not be bored. Like maybe go to the library or go to a friend's or go to a, some thing, a field trip that we would take them on. And so they've all kind of developed things now that are keeping them busy, which I really appreciate. Um, the older kids had already done that, but it's, it's kind of trickled down even lower. Like Peter's constantly reading and writing D and D games that he's playing. Um, Asher and he both have been in the woods a lot. They have this app that like shows you what the plant is or what the bug is and helps you identify it. And then kind of crowdsources the information. I'll put the name of it down below. Um, and they love that. Um, Pearl has been doing lots of her bracelet making. She's also been creating a lot of art. Esther's been doing hair stuff, but also reading a lot and creating things. And then Andrew continues to write. He's also been working a lot on making both miniatures for D&D, &D, but also, um, what are those things called that Andrew makes? I, my mind just went blank. Glass with little plants in them, terrariums. Um, Eve is continuing to work on school with dad because because of her limitations, um, she needs that more regular. And Jude is doing a lot of art. He's getting so good. Um, as well as reading and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll stop vlogging and go back to helping Mike, but just starting the day out here. Okay, the wall is coming together. Okay, it's the next day. I'm back over at the shop. I brought over things that have just been waiting at my house and making a mess to finally put up on the art wall. So we'll see how this goes. All done for now, all that I could do. Um, so 
sometimes I really feel like I don't know what I'm doing because I don't. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I need to find somebody who's had a booth to take me under their wing, some, some guru. But anyways, things are selling and I'm enjoying myself. So I guess that's really all that matters. But now I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna go home and get some lunch. For Megan's next trick, she'll be painting a rug. It's called overdying. I got this rug for free and it's pretty, but it's got tears in it. So don't worry too much. It's already not valuable because of It's, it's already, condition. it's kind of torn up on the edges. And, it, and it's a real pretty rug, but it's very like muted tones. And it just, I'm gonna put it in the shop and it does, it wasn't the right colors. So I'm just over dyeing it. Fun thing about over dyeing is it's not supposed to look perfect. Mm-hmm. Which is perfect, which is for, perfect for this. <laughs> So all I did was took some hot water and some chalk paint. Think about like spilling grape juice on a rug, not cleaning it up and spilling it over the entire rug. That's essentially what I'm doing and it will. So is that a thing full of grape juice right there? Yep. It was a blueberry juice actually. Oh. It will stain the rug and it won't make it hard. We've got, it's very watered down chalk paint. Um, mm -hmm. And it's pretty cool. I already like it. I like the way, because it's pretty blue, but it's mixing with the pinks and the yellows and the greens and making them some cool colors. Super so we'll cool. see. It might be one coat, might be more than one. Okay. These boys are all hanging out. What did you do tonight, Pete? Play D&D. &D. D &D, was that sweet? Yeah. This is strange. Okay, yeah, you get, you get, you get, so all, all of you get back you all your hit points and spell slots. Mm -hmm. Fun. Yeah, you had a good, uh, solid game there. Andrew, you had friends over, right? Yeah, yeah. we hung out like, in the woods with friends. It was really fun. You hung out in the woods? Walks, yeah. It felt very, like, um, woodsy. Woodsy, I don't know. Adventuring? We're having Adventuring. some of our first social interactions because yeah. it's uh, allowed. You get, as long as it's below 50 people now, but we still keep it like below 50. Oh. Oh, it's Trying to be it's cautious, so well, but the kids people. were wanting some social interaction. Yeah, yeah it's been fun. And uh, I took some time putting together some new shelving so we can actually, well. Well, you also just really cleaned up in here. We cleaned up in here a little bit. It was, oh, hey, look, there's Jude. <laughs> Jude just came walking out of nowhere. His PJs. Um, but anyways, I kind of cleaned it up so we could clear out a spot for this. And I love... By the way, that was a joke. Dude just came from the front of the <laughs> okay, Someone thinks we were serious about him just walking out of the woods with his PJs. So we got it all a little bit more organized. Got some more storage now. These are these shelves are from Costco. They're pretty sweet. Only like uh, 70 bucks for one of those. I got two of them. Good solid shelves. We got some of Megan's stuff that still has to go over to the shop as well as some, you know, other things. All done. Looks pretty. Well, it looks fun. And in the shop, it'll be fun. Um, Get a little bit of paint on your hand, by the way. I <laughs> And on your face. <laughs> and because it was a really cute rug, but when I put it in there, it just looked so wrong with all the bright stuff. Mm -hmm. And this will not look so wrong. This will look so right. It feels right? so right, yep. Now it's time to go pig out, I'm starved. And let this dry. I don't know if this will be dry by tomorrow, but. I think it might, It's but... pretty humid. Yeah, that's true. And we don't have an extra fan to put out here on it, so... Oops. All right, well, we love you guys. Thanks for coming along the last couple days. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I know I need a haircut. I actually made an appointment today, so I don't have to have a quarantine cut and end up on <laughs> some channel being watched. <laughs> Which is what happened with Somebody your other like, one. Yesterday, was like, you look really familiar to me. And I'm like, 
Oh, well, you should probably say why, because not everyone's oh, going to be Oh, yeah, you're right. To. There's a, a guy on YouTube that has a really, really big channel, like 5 million subs, and he, like, did a um, reaction video to quarantine haircuts and, and Elijah giving me a haircut. So you just there. got, like, I think you just got all of your nose. Oh, right well, down there. Oh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link down <laughs> below. What, his name's, like, that's terrible that I don't know. But I don't usually watch the channel. He we was really there. nice. He was really nice. Yeah, about the quarantine yeah. cut. So. so you're going to get a haircut so that it's more normal. Yeah. Which is fine. Okay, so we'll see you later, right? Bye. Bye.